Good morning traders, it's Paul Clevett from dailyforextrader.me and I want to be a forextrader.com looking at the news to start with. Yesterday we had one trading signal all day because Signal Trader was looking for the uh, a certain market set up. We have rules which we stick by, the markets weren't adhering to the rules so we only had one possible trade until later in the evening when things settled down a bit and Signal Trader started giving us signals. News today, um, not really very much of excitement, a few euro thingies today which is kind of normal the euro is full of news that's why the euro is so up and down all the time i don't tend to trade it i don't tend to trade euro dollar i trade you your other pairs 1330 the usual canadian dollar and us dollar stuff i'll be avoiding um so what are we looking for this morning well um let's have a look at some of the signals that signal traders bringing up my favorite today is sterling dollar look at it sell 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 so the diamonds are telling us to sell everything says sell so i think i'm going to take that one that's my favourite trade at the moment, um, and that's re ready to go on my system. The others um, ha don't have the same quality to the to the trade, so let's have a look at the charts and see what we're doing. Here's Sterling from yesterday, big rally up on unemployment data, but it's starting to kind of lose its lose its lose its way. Um, I had a trade sitting on it last night. It has been gradually, it is very very slowly moving down, but it has been signalling all night to sell. Um, so now we've got this inside the congestion as well, a diamond inside the congestion. If I get a diamond back here, I tend not to pay any attention to it because it's too. It would be back here, and it's really that's the response to the diamond. Here's the diamond in the cell here. Now the reason I think that it's a good trade is, as well is looking at the daily charts. Um, this is my old Delta stock account. Let's see daily uh, daily charts, and let's look at um, sterling dollar. This is sterling yen. That's no sterling New Zealand. Look, we've got up, down, up, down. Looks like a bit of a head and shoulders. This is the top of a head and shoulders. So even sterling, sterling uh, New Zealand could be a good trade as well. But um, okay, so let me just pull up uh, not that one window. GBP USD for you. Uh, yeah, uh, control tab if you want to tab through your charts. By the way, show that in a second. Okay, so let's look at the daily chart to get a bigger picture. Double top. Okay, look, it's tried it twice. Here, we've come down and come up. This it seems to be like a critical point. Looks to me very much like a double top. We've hit the double top now. I think we're going to have a day of coming down here, and maybe coming down a little bit further. I don't know if we'll make it back past here before we end up going up again. Um, so 15 minute chart again. Uh, still looking at this cell. Four hourly chart. Anything interesting here? Yes, clear double top. Um, it hasn't actually got up as high as it did before, uh, but there's a clear, you know, look at the resistance that um, Signal Traders put in. There's a lovely sell in here, from what I can see, and I'll, I'm looking for that sell today. I think it could be slow, to be honest, but it has been signalling this sell all night, especially when this hit. When Signal Trader says sell, 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 um, which is on the other one, it's Delta Stock, that's it. Signal Trader says sell, 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 it's time to go. Now, sometimes you might see. In yours, you might see me going. Signal Trader says sell, 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 and you say, and yours looks like sell, buy, sell because the orders are in a sell. That's because some tra there's a difference between some um, brokers in terms of about seven points, and sometimes that's enough to be, you know, because we're looking for this, if the uh, orders is look for looking for vol for orders of two thousand in a fifteen minute chart over in one candle. So you might have um, my um, Belfort FX account, which is my favourite broker. They might be slightly over, and the other one might be slightly under. Although, so um, there's no, there's nothing to worry about with that. Some, it just means you might not take trades that other people are taking. But those, so I generally look for all three to be in agreement, and they are at the moment. There's a diamond here, so we've got a, a rejection. Um, we, we're in a, a bearish trend here, and um, that the orders sell means that there are there are sell orders in the chart here. I can't think of any trader that would be looking at that chart and going, I'm going to buy sterling today. There's nothing to hold it up there, really. Um, I'm hoping that this will all be over by 1.30. I think it'll probably happen this morning about 9, 10 o'clock maybe, or somewhere in the uh, European Open, in the European um, session. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen in the European session. We're going to get this drop down here and down to here. But I think it could be slow. Um, so that's really favourite trade of the day. Uh, 96 pips for a 30 pip risk, so three three to one um, ratio trade looks really good, and it you know it looks like it's it could be a winner. Um, 
just simply because uh, there isn't anything to hold sterling up. In fact, oh look, <laughs> maybe we're going to get it quicker than I thought. Um, but there's there's not a lot of volume in the market at the moment. Volume's at 251, which is hugely low. Volume of about 1,000, you've got the market moving. 2,000 is going to really rock it um, on a 15-minute chart. And you can see down here we're at 251, so it's pretty slow. But anything can happen, and that can change. With a, Incidentally, 2,000 volume on a 15-minute chart can only can last for one candle. And then it can go back to being hardly anything. Because sometimes what they do is you get some traders, a, a bunch of traders, playing a, a pricing sorry uh, placing their orders somewhere in the congestion where you can't see it okay they know what they're doing but there's there's enough activity there's a little fight going on in the congestion okay sometimes you get that and sometimes that causes a little a diamond here so in this case I'm looking for this sell um, and um, my risk is set at two and a half to one and I'm, this is 3.18 so I'd really like this sell I think it's not unreasonable to expect it to retrace back down to here. It might be slightly above it, but I can keep an eye on that um, once it breaks. So anyway, that's my trade of the day, I suppose. Uh, Signal Trade is quite happy with that, and I'm quite happy with that. You know, I don't trade a lot of trades because I want to be safe, and you know, but there are others to look at. Let's have a look at Aussie CAD, and I'll show you. We'll have a bit of an analysis on that one. Aussie CAD. Here we go. Okay, so same story. Look at this. Aussie CAD has a big rally. Now, there's two things that can happen out of a rally. We can either carry on northwards, or we can retrace now. Little sneaky thing going on here. Big move on the Aussie, but there was actually a, it actually rallied up and came down on Canadian news last night. So, at the moment, that could be quite a good trade. So, but the diamonds are in a buy. Why is that over here? But there's no diamonds in into the in this congestion, so we can't really pay too much attention to that because it's way back there. And I think that's this here is the response to that so I'd be looking for another diamond in here there's um, to look for that sell it's not gonna hurt to put an order on that but I just I'd rather just go for the ones where everything's in sort of um, conglomeration with it look at this you see we've got a diamond here and then they they had a short now that's because what these are is these to me are the market saying what they intend to do Okay, but sometimes it doesn't actually happen. So we have this short here. So what would happen here? We'd have stopped out. But that happens occasionally in the Forex. If you think you can trade the Forex without stopping out, you're wrong. <laughs> it doesn't happen. There's, I don't know any traders that don't stop out. Okay, it happens occasionally. But you've got to minimize that. That's why we have our risk-reward rules. That's why yesterday there were hardly any trades. Because the risk, the ratios weren't high enough to make it worth us trading. And that's fine. Have a day off. Have a packed lunch. Go for a walk around the walk around a lake do something that's going to take your mind off it um okay so that's today's trades um signal trader orders trading system signal trader trading system is available for 50 dollars a month that includes this stuff in the chart here with all these white lines and diamonds but you get full training and there's um a training session tonight if you're interested just message me um paul.clevit at dailyforextrader.me or contact form on the site give you an invitation to that but of course the, the um, users come first so places are limited on that um, signal trader trading system also comes with this um, web based system that is plugged into your MetaTrader 4 okay don't ask me how I do it because I ain't going to tell you um, and basically signal trader looks for these trades and then gives you it in a web interface in this list you can set your lot size you can um, then decide on orders by looking at the risk reward you can say, yeah, 50, 55 pips, that's high risk. But not everything's in agreement. But I'm going to take a note of it. Aussie CAD looks interesting for later. Sterling Swissy looks interesting for later. GBP CAD looks interesting for later. But why not um, in a cell? That looks interesting because we had good news off the CAD yesterday. But the so, um, all making sense and all looking good. So have a great day, traders. I want to be a forextrader.com if you want to get your hands on the uh, signal trader trading system or uh, if you want to view some more videos I want to be a forextrader.me it's almost, it's almost a video blog of the development of signal trader signal trader is a system that's developed basically by me on my own and <laughs> somebody yesterday asked for the marketing department that's me and uh, but it's developed in response to what people what the users say you know, we'd like this, we need this, and that's how it's got to where it is. So anyway, uh, I want to be a forextrader.com if you'd like to join us in the Signal Trader Trading Group. Um, 
uh, fifty dollars a month, which is not a lot of money considering one trade. Well, half a trade you can get that back. Um, so have a great day, everybody, and uh, I'll be back on here tomorrow for another session. Don't forget live trading session if you want to come on that tonight. Uh, please contact me um, through the website. Uh, there's, there'll be links there.